Hello, Assalamualaikum guys and welcome back to another video. It's Ibrahim Muslim and today I'm back with another tutorial on Hackintosh. So this tutorial is for how to upgrade to 10.13.1 your high Sarah. So basically I have just updated like over two three days ago and I got to find that people are having problem in updating. So the main problem many of the people there are facing is this. This stupid error occurs when they restart their system after the install and when they select their install OS X update or whatever their drive name is they get the error that system installation package OS install.mpkg or m package appears to be missing or damaged so what caused this error so this is to be honest a really really easy fix and you will be surprised that why you got such a bad error on such a small thing so let's start the fix the first thing I will prefer you guys is to open your clever configurator go here mount your drive mount your uefi drive or the partition in which your os x or mac os x etc or high is installed go to the config.plst now here go to the install driver section select your efi and uninstall this driver emu variable uefi emu variable uefi uninstall this make it white click it and it will get white so you have to remove this emu variable uefi once you have removed this there is one more thing you have to do and it is as important as this emu variable uefi is and remember you have to reinstall this emu variable uefi if you are using any of the graphics card intel nvidia or amd without this efi you will not be able to load your default or you will not be able to load your graphics acceleration so you will get to the display and you have to install this back to your efi and then after the restart you will get your display acceleration working and once you have updated you already need to install the update as well so you can do the both update to the nvidia drivers as well as this at the same time and then you have to just close your drive and let me check if i have installed the driver yes just just close this your clever con clever configurator and now you have to do this there is an update in the apfs file system the apple released so if you're using an hfs hard drive you might not need to do this but if you're using an apfs file system as i am doing you have to open and you have to replace your current aps file with this i will add this in the description below and the second thing you already know so just go to the your efi drive go to the clever drive and here in driver you driver 64 uefi open this and replace your EFI with this one. Just replace it and ta da! And you're done to upgrade to the high Sierra 10.13.1. And if you want to confirm the size of this e APFS file system, it's larger than any other .efi file here. It's 568 kilobytes. So once you are done with this and you have upgraded to your high Sierra 10.13.1, I will let you know. How to get your trim working on this as well and there was also a trick to get a more smoother high sera and right now mine is working quite perfectly and every usb drive and almost everything is working including the i messages you can see here so it's on the number you can see it's an i message and i've already made a video on how to get your i messages working so that's all for this video guys that's how you will upgrade to 10.13.1 high sera and if you have an aps file system you must copy or replace your .afi file and that's all and thanks again thanks for watching hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it and if you have any question query please feel free to ask in the comment section below and if you want me to make more such videos please help me on the patreon and like share and subscribe the youtube channel and share this to your friends or the family the ones who will probably be trying to make an hackintosh this will make their life a lot easier that's all thanks again take care allah hafiz